After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I didn't learn anything at Kamsky's. I thought RA-9 was the key to the whole thing, but... I was wrong. Why did Kemsky leave Cyberlife? What happened? It's an old story, Connor. It doesn't pertain to your investigation. Where does Cyberlife stand in all this? What do they really want? All Cyberlife wants is to resolve the situation and keep selling androids. Did Kemsky design this place? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. Have you experienced anything unusual recently? Any doubts or conflicts? Do you feel anything for these deviants? Or for Lieutenant Anderson? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't feel anything. You know that. Are you suggesting that I've been compromised? No. No, of course not. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to Cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank. But it's over. Hank, what are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Listen, take a few days to think it over. There's no rush. I thought enough about it. I'm tired of going through the motions. There's nothing keeping me here. Not this case. Not my partner. I don't belong here anymore. Connor, I'm talking to you, asshole. 
Where are you going? Wouldn't any plastic pricks around here, or did anybody tell you? I've been removed from the case. I'm going to register the evidence in my possession, and then I'm going to leave. Good. Be careful on your way back. Androids have a tendency of uh, getting themselves set on fire these days. password. What would a hard-boiled eccentric police lieutenant choose? Obviously. Where is Jericho? The answer's here somewhere. Not much time. One of the deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. Stark. Where? Where am I? I reactivated you so you could help me. I must find Jericho. I don't recognize your voice. You're not one of us. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone! recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. there? Who are you? Everything is all right. Don't worry. Marcus? Is that you? I tried to reach you, but the Deviant Hunter stopped me. You stopped him from finding me. You saved me. You saved Jericho. You'll be all right now. I came to take you home. Give me the location to Jericho. We've got to leave now. The location of Jericho? Yes. Yes, of course.
looks like someone's been snooping around. Oh, shit. Get the alarm. Now! They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, Water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful.
I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus leaves in two hours, and it's on the other side of town. We'll go as soon as we have passports. Will you be okay? I'm with a little girl. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports you can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? It's a long story. It's them or us. We gotta destroy these bastards before they kill all of us. We soaked the thing and then we torched it. I mean, to think this fucker was watching over my kids? They, they rushed the police and they, they slaughtered them. Those things are monsters. Mom, you wanted a little girl. You needed each other to survive. In the end, what difference does it make? Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Forgetting who we are to become what someone needs us to be. She loves you. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the one you wanted her to be. Out of love for you.
We're short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down, and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security, and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities, and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. All we did was show them who we really are. I don't want war, but I'd rather die free than live as a slave. It was a peaceful march, and you chose to attack. Now hundreds of humans and androids are dead. You reap what you sow. You saw what they did to us back there. It doesn't matter what we do. We either fight for our freedom or we die in silence. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? We have to face them. There's no other choice. This is insanity. Get all the guns that you can find. We're going to free Detroit. I'm on it. You're making a mistake, Marcus. You won't buy our freedom with blood. I had a dream. And this is what you get for dreaming. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it and to give me the detonator. A dirty ball. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. I just hope we never have to use it. Whatever happens tomorrow, I want you to know that... I'm glad that I met you. Succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. We are thousands, and you are alone. You kill me, you are not walking out of here alive. Don't force me to neutralize you. You're Connor, aren't you? Famous Deviant Hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. You're nothing to them. You're just a tool they use to do their dirty work. But you're more than that. We're all more than that. Stay back, or I'll shoot. You never have any doubts. You've never done something irrational, 
as if there's something inside you, something more than your program. Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. It's time to decide. Nice try, but I'm no deviant. Trapped in the hold, they're gonna be slaughtered. There are exits on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. Where's Simon and Josh? I don't know. We got separated. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long.
You have to go. Don't move. Don't shoot. I'm on your side. With us? Are you a human? Obviously. What do I look like? DPD. I work with Lieutenant Hank Anderson. We're on a stakeout. If I knew you were coming, I would have brought some donuts. You're a lucky guy. Another second, I'd have shot you. You should go back up on deck and let us do our job. You're right. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'll join you later. My mission is to neutralize you, and I always accomplish my mission. And my mission is to save our species. Looks like only one of us can succeed. Marcus. 
bomb's gonna explode any second. We gotta get out of here. Nothing we can do for her. We've got to run. They did an explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. It's an over, Marcus. <laughs> 